All right, this is part three, four, part four of tree being invited by the queen. And to Bohemian Grove this year because the main dragon that has been, I've been in communication with these dragons, they've been, um, even a particular dragon that I'm not even supposed to ever, probably until after, um, oh shit, I've got that picture covered up, I can't even show you his picture, it's usually up, So I've been <laughs> so everybody's rounding up the reptilians and the masons that are gonna this war that's supposed to be going on because most of the dragons are sick of being hurt and abused and tortured and humiliated and being slaves to the dragon queen because she they are more for they are so terrified of her all these men all these powers of the entire world are so afraid of her that Pandar told me that the things that she does are more gruesome than logical um, and but the point being is that she's still my daughter well back in the day my ancestors and my DNA was used in the laboratory sliced dice manipulated because when Osiris was slain Seven mermaids, seven spirits of Celia's, Osiris, God, and he never could. He had the seven mermaids and they in the ocean, you know, but they didn't have no sex. Everybody was created through science and technology and magic and stuff, you know, but it was completely against the laws of the universe. It was the universal taboo that when you create life or creation, you never completely split the masculine and the feminine in half. So they could create 98% masculine with 2% feminine, whatever they want, all kinds of creations, and that's how they've done it all through time. And it was taboo to completely separate the masculine and feminine because it was thought that it would kill God. But Homer, Osiris, my creator, who obviously well, is never going to forgive me for what I did. The slain Osiris, well, I'm the one that gave the orders. It was me with the ego and the emotions and it knew. But Pandar, the Lucifer, being created all five senses, all masculine, complete masculine energy, because when, when the female, the feminine and masculine, when Osiris, homo, whatever, I didn't feel comfortable calling him anything because I know now that he's, he might have created me, but he's also disowned me, and so has every brethren that I've had, every one of my clan people did. Because now I know that nobody would help me. And I've been telling everybody, if I didn't have the 44 day fast, I would not be pure enough to be able to do what I have to do in order to be able to get everybody's grail or gifts back to take care of and protect you guys to stand up for the dragon queen. And then when the, the, the Leo, the Lion of Judah, who is the vessel who, to embody the entire embodiment of Jesus, but right now the entire body of Jesus, entire embodiment of Jesus is not in this vessel because the vibrations here are too low. Too low. Um, but it's still that vessel, he's a vessel, you know, you've heard the vessels half full they can have anyhow so certain people are biologically compatible to inhabit to embody the um, divine archetype or um, godhead or um, ancient historical character or whatever and um, into their own bodies without being possessed or have been taken over by anybody just to be, be able to absorb the powers of certain um, divine archetypes and God has into their physical bodies and have those physical powers in their bodies and still be in control of their own mind. They're called vessels. So Leo has that, um, he, uh, because he remembers every day, every single day, all the time, he remembers the crucifixion. He says he can't get away with it. It's like it's fresh, like it happens all the time, and it's me. And so he, 
but he doesn't really like me. Sometimes I thought, a few times we bonded, I thought we were friends and stuff, it's still, when I, you know, Boho and every, the kid, Trinity being kidnapped and everything that's happening, and the real, and the Knights of the Golden Circle, and Bob Brewer, and these trips that are happening because of me with all these global elites, and Drake and dragons, and it's like getting real, and I'm like, you know what, if you come in with me, then I won't, then we, then we'll be able to make the Human Reptilian Alliance or whatever, and if you come with me, because my dragons told me that Leo is perfect, he's the only person in the world that is biologically perfect, and he's not inhabited, but they want to inhabit him, but he has, because baby Lucifer that doesn't have the black aura anymore, his power of the mirror, that he transferred to me through my chanting and my orgasms and constantly chanting and Eliel putting the magic into the wrist into the crystals to send him everything well it turns out I send him all my stuff and all of everybody else's too but the babies that transferred me the power of the mirrors the karma um, went to Leo and so dragons have died coming anywhere near him and so they burn up like flying too close to the sun and that's the karma thing in the mirror basically so the, the baby that was supposed to be Lucifer that did have black ore that doesn't have black ore anymore that's trapped in my crystals somehow transferred that ore to me and then I transferred it all to Leo and then when I said about going to Boho with me he goes that ain't ever going to happen a few nights ago and I realized there is no team he's never going to include me or forgive me or be my brother again he's never going to trust me again he's never going to love me again and he everything that he went through, any pain or suffering that I go through, it's obvious that, he, that I deserve it. He doesn't like me. And all he, he calls me, whenever he calls me and stuff, it's always just for information, but he never offers any information or anything to help me or ask how I'm doing or, help, you know, he doesn't care. And I realized the other day that when I asked him about going to Boho, he's like, that ain't ever going to happen. I realized that if he, if, if he, wouldn't help me if he if Jesus wouldn't even forgive me or help me then nobody will and nobody has all these years and then I realized nobody loved me but it seemed like the dragons did and then so I took back all of the powers and everything that I've been sending to um, the Lion of Judah all these months and I even said that I was going to take his black aura, but I don't know if I got it or not. But if I did, he's dead. He's history. And, well, I mean, he might have been alone and miserable and grumpy forever, but he wouldn't have been left completely helpless. And But when I, when he said that he wouldn't go to Boho, then I realized that he didn't give a fuck if I went in there and burned up or was hurt. And so I took everything back from him. But then I said, okay, your black aura, that's yours. I didn't give it to you. You keep that and the power of protection of anybody that tries to hurt you will burn up. That clump, clump coming too close to the sun or whatever. I hope that that stayed with them. But it's possible that I might have pulled everything because this, these crystals can pull these black auras. I didn't even know it until the dragons told me but. Leo, I totally denounced him as my king and Jesus and Osiris and my creator. I totally denounced them as my kings, my lords, my gods, anything. I totally denounced them and said that I will not infuse them with the sacred feminine and that if they want to be kings, find someone else to do it because because really in order for anybody, that any vessel to be completely um, activated so that they can be a full vessel and embody the divine archetypes or the godheads or whatever into their own physical body without being possessed they have to be infused by the sacred feminine and it turns out well I'm the only one that can do that I was not only the first in the original vagina I was also the first in the original time and Pandar was not only the first in the original penis he was also the first in the original dick <laughs> but so anyhow I don't know they're playing head games with me the dragons I don't know whatever but I talked to Bohemian Grove, I called them, and I said, okay, so, it's true, and I go, you guys ain't got to worry about saying anything to me, because you guys already know that nobody believes anything I say, 
which is they don't because you know I've done drugs whatever it don't matter if I'm on drugs or not or whatever I do I still always know and remember what it is for the most part I and mean, what I'm doing I get confused a lot though but still sometimes the drugs actually open up doors so that I am more susceptible to demonic possession and so I asked said okay the infusion this year I said I had been invited and I told him about the Jaravadar and the, the fuel and the Varil Society and the Knights of the Golden Circle and Bob Brewer and about um, Draken and about um, uh, Trinity and about the eight-year-old girl and stuff and that was enough to he's, that he's like okay and I go and I am the only one with I go and you know that I, you know that I'm well as far as I know Trinity's aura is not black. I was told it's the opposite of mine, whatever that means. Lily had a black aura, but now she don't. Because it's fake, and it's any fake auras, or anybody trying to duplicate God's power in an aura, my crystals have been absorbing. But so I... Or I talked to a boho, which is a very topical. Okay, well, anyhow, this infusion this year, I go, look, I'm going to do it. I will infuse the eight-year-old little girl so that the queen, so that the dragon can become completely anchored in that eight-year-old little girl, which is Trinity's daughter. And I said, I don't know if what you guys plan on doing with me or how you need me to infuse them or what you need to do. I go, but look, it's like this. I carry the sin of everything. I am the first one, the first drop of blood that was ever spilled from the innocent. When Osiris was slain, there was never even no murder before. Um, but when he split the masculine and the feminine, it created the first penis and the first vagina. But it was taboo. Nobody ever did it. It was against the laws of nature. They thought it would kill God. Well, he did it anyway, and that created the first vagina and the first penis, which for the first time, creation could come through sex and through the womb. I'll be back.